Unemployment at a 17-year low. It's a good time for job hunters. So tonight we begin a series of reports called On the Job, where we're looking at trends, opportunities, and challenges in the job market in our region. We start off with some workers who are taking the concept of working remotely to a whole new level. Here's WBZ's Paula Eben with the story. We did a hike into the Sahara. These were like the camels that brought us into the desert. From Morocco to Medellin, Valencia and Bulgaria, Barati Balas Abraminium has worked all over the world, but she never changed jobs. It was an amazing experience. Welcome to Remote Year. A company that organizes extended travel for those who don't want to give up their jobs. They book flights, find apartments and workspaces for a group of around 70 people. Nights and weekends are theirs to explore, but there's no skimping on job duties. I did a lot more work than I actually did when I was going into to the office. Well, I end up working until midnight some days, but you know, it's all part of the job. Winchester native Tim Costa just started his remote year in South Africa. The time difference makes it tough to keep up with colleagues in New York, but that leaves mornings free for petting cheetahs, hiking, and hitting the beach. The next stop is actually Marrakesh, Morocco. Uh, after that is Valencia, Belgrade, Split, Lisbon, Buenos Aires, Bogota, Lima, Medellin, Cordoba, and Mexico City. Leaving the office for a full year could be a tough sell, but according to Jim Rooney of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce, highly skilled workers are in such demand, many companies are forced to be creative. It says a lot that a company would allow someone to travel the world and work that remotely. You talk to the locals there, you get to see the landscape, and it's, it's life-changing. Now, both Tim and Baridi are software engineers, but Remote Year works with all kinds of job skills. The company helps with strategies to convince your employer, and once you're in, it is $5,000 down and about $2,000 a month. Tim says that that's not much more than what he would pay in rent outside of New York. David and Lisa? Interesting concept, right? Yeah. All right.